Okay, so a little update on the always fully booked 2020 planner that I got. I'm pretty sure I did a tiny kind of like video that I did get this earlier in the year. It's uh, by Little and Queen's Design and she's from Canada. Um, she also has a YouTube channel as well. So, and Instagram as well. So there is that as well. So first off, it is a pretty hefty, not hefty, but like thick type of planner. It's spiral, which is, in a way I do like because uh, you can fold over and make it just like this. So you don't have it open like this all the time. So that I like. And, and I do appreciate <laughs> and like that she has the strap here and like the corners here as well. One of them on mine like has come like come off a few times and I've put it back but it's it's stuck on. So and I do like that she has all the months like after the like this book belongs to um page the calendar and literacy dates I like Book Lovers Day, um, World Book Day UK, um, and you got like space to write um, like four other dates. And a few squares for like 2020 goals as of like right now, like July. I have finished two, I'm part way through, um, somewhat part way through one. But, you know what, I did complete this one, so I can highlight that one off. This one, um, I haven't, uh, I've partially started. <laughs> it's the two-page bookshelf. And so I just did like washi tape for the bookshelves. Very thin washi tape. And so just you write the books on the shelves and you can like color stuff in for the a to z challenge i'm pretty sure i have read every single letter <laughs> um any book title containing x cuts for x um I think other than C, I'm pretty sure I can, I've, even though it doesn't look like it, I have pretty sure read um, every level, letter, maybe not U or V, but there's that. And then she's got like two more challenges. I have, there's, so there's the Little Inklings 2020 reading challenge. I have um, the ones that I've remembered <laughs> reading. I know I've completed a book with a one word title, debut novel, a book from a genre you don't normally read, a cover by, a book no longer, a book longer than 600 pages, a book with a uh, LGBTQ plus protagonist, a book set in a different country than you, the first book in a series, a book set at sea, and a book with a cover you don't like. So those are the ones that I've completed so far. Um, for the color challenge, I have completed every single color except gold, silver, and bronze, which are bonus. Um, on the cover, mountains, water, myth mythical creature, moon, or stars. Um, I'm pretty sure I can color in an animal and a tree, I'm pretty sure. And then, so for, you got like this, you can like fill in 
the movies and TV shows. Um, a few of the um, that you've watched. So for the next few pages, you got like um, oh, oh my goodness, almost ripped the pages out. Got books to read. So I can, I'm pretty sure I can like fill this out um, more. And then you got like ratings on the edge here. Um, for me, it's just more did I re read them. So I'm pretty sure I can fill that out of books I've already read and books I've <coughs> wanting to read. I can likely fill put in the books I were wanting to read for the two readathons that I plan on doing. Um, the Reading Rush and the Read Athon, and I have the Book Jar Challenge. I'm pretty sure I can just write those books in here. Usually, I don't um, pick out quotes into like uh, out of stuff, but I have done a few. So you got like a few pages for that. I don't read many series, so for me, um, the series tracker. Um, could uh, could easily just be one page because again I don't read many book series as um, the last few years. Um, wish list. So um, self-explanatory five reads, five star reads. Um, lately I've just been going. Like this year, I've kind of just been going book after book and not really saying, oh, which ones were five star reads for this? But it's a good um, page of like, which books did I really like? Um, and you have your like top, top books for the year. And like, this is one of like two coloring pages. And I just, and I like that she put these in there. Um, so, for like the months, I like the overview. So, like, I know when I'm working, when I've uploaded videos, events, um, like I track stuff, like um, my period or whatever. I do like the TBR list. It's kind of like an extension of the books to read. So, like, what books to read? do you want to read that month so I like that um, a lot of people can get a lot of use out of the new release page I have like a few random random ones but if you um, are more on top of like oh this is coming out or whatever and so this can be useful for me um, not really, it can just be a note type of thing that I, I would put on like the date date or on the main calendar. Um, I do like the extra note um, section. And for me, I don't need the huge amount of space. Um, So there are some days where I do completely fill the page. This is about half. So, or I make <laughs> my w words a lot bigger than I normally would. Um, Book of Shawl, I do like this page. Um, even though I don't really get a whole lot, <laughs> it's just I got. Um, like a Tessa print from like the cock, um, Infernal Devices and um, two bookish Christmas shirts. Um, the wrap up I do like. Um, so just a list of random stuff, um, stats, um, the format of like books that you've read and your favorite quote. Um, People do find ways to fill this space. I'm like, what do I fill up this space with? Um, so 
so like the book review section at the back of each um month so it's like three pages um since i keep my reviews and in a separate book and they don't set it up like the way she has it set up here i don't use these and like there's a few pages of like these in the back of the book i don't set up my book review like notes like this so where other people will fill these up and like buy she has like um a, a book review like notebook that you can also purchase so for people who do like this type of setup so like the title author you start finish dates uh the number of stars did you post it would you recommend it number of pages the format and like your thoughts so if you do kind of like that setup um consider looking into the book that she the companion books that she has that have it's just um from what i've seen is just like all this so that can be good um and then you also get like a page of notes at the end of each month which like i've sectioned up for um in later months for um some like for something for other stuff that i'm not showing so there is that and also like on in the month um spreads i do like this side note um section and then so like every three months or so you get a quarterly check-in which i find really nice so you get um you get a list of your current loves so like book author once you're pairing the tv show or a uh, tv show or movie um music that you're liking current food and beverage um things that you're liking and a place that you visited no sorry in the last three months that you like um social media stuff so if you um track that you have this um your reading goal progress because um i've requested so many more books um on Nat alley within the first three months of this year i went over my hundred um goal so and i'm really trying to focus it down to what i normally review um favorite quote memorable moments um goal progress and things to work on so i i i really like that check in it's like are you on top of what you want to do it's a good reminder of okay oh yeah i need to do these i need to my goal is 50 and i've only read five better <laughs> go to the library or use one of the databases or whatever so yeah so like there are weeks where I've tried to fill up the space with like stickers and like random other stuff that I did that day so we'll see how like the next half of the month month year um is but yeah um like with these pages i could do without because again um how like how i've been writing down my thoughts for books um and stuff and like with me um batching within the past um six months or so i haven't been able to keep on like doing my regular batching like i have um so i need to have like that detail and like also like i screenshot stuff so it's too small for me <laughs> so and then 
at the end of the year, I'll I'll be curious what to what I um for the final check and what my top books were would be in number of books. Um, reflection on 2020 goals, social media stats, moments. Oh, here's my progress on the other coloring page. And like, I do love this. I love this um, page. So, and I've and I've actually been kind of using the the notes at the back, so you get like um, a few note pages, so um, a few ideas of like authors or books that I would want to read for the um, read a athon. Um, I already made a list and put out. Um, the TBR I want for the Reading Rush, July 20th, 20th to 26th, and um, what I want to watch on Netflix, so I could likely, I think pretty much all of these are like series, so I could add these onto the TV section as well, because like, I don't, I normally don't go to like the theaters for films, I really have to be interested in the movie. And with what's going on um, in 2020, can't really do that. Yeah, there's like the digital releases and whatever, but um, right now, Netflix and YouTube are good. So, and the back pocket I have been using. So, and like you got, um, it's like thick cardboard for um, the cover and backing and so <laughs> midway through the year as of recording I have no idea when I'm going to be popping this up <laughs> um, so as of like shooting this it's July beginning of July um, but yeah like other than a few things I really do like this planner and like yeah little issues with like <laughs> trying to close it back up because of the backing of the springs and everything but I do like the quality I do like what um because like this is my first um, always fully booked planner so and I'm really excited to see what she's going to do for the 2021 planner so yeah so my mid-year thoughts on the how um, me using the always fully booked planner so yeah happy readings